doors open again. Welcome back to my kitchen. It is another absolutely glorious Sunday. And I'm grateful that you are taking a minute to watch this video. We're going to keep it really quick. In fact, I've already prepared what I'm going to share with you today. Um, but I got all my ingredients out here. So let's just get to it, okay? Uh, what I did was I started with a little bit of olive oil because I'm using a extra lean ground beef in this dish today. Uh, this is Trader Joe's extra lean and literally there's like no fat in it. So in order to saute up the, the goodies that I wanted to put in with it, I had to uh, put a little bit of olive oil in there. And what we're calling this is we're calling this sauceless spaghetti, okay? Because uh, I did have a wonderful morning this morning. I got my chores done and I went to the gym. And so now I'm needing to refuel with, you know, some good carbs and some good lean protein and very minimal fat. So let's get to it. I started with a shallot and three cloves of garlic and some baby portobello mushrooms. I let those kind of get in there and sweat a little bit and do their thing. And then I added my meat, salt and pepper, um, keeping this real simple. And then when that was just about done, I put in, cause I'm making like, I use a third of a pound of uh, extra lean beef. So I'm making like two to three portions. Um, I added like half of a can of chopped up artichoke hearts in water and um, probably about four of these wonderful sweet peppers. There's a little tiny bit of sugar in here, but that's okay. And I've discovered this wonderful uh, veggie spaghetti. And don't be fooled, the first ingredient is still wheat. Um, it's a little higher in calorie than a whole wheat pasta, uh, but there is some uh, zucchini puree in there, which I like that idea to get a little more green goodness in me. But I just really like the texture. It is, uh, it is a, a veggie or an alternative pasta that really has the texture of a good pasta. And because I'm kind of coming to the end of my pasta season, I thought I would share this with you because this might be the last time I make it. As the seasons change, my, my eating changes and I just take all the foods that I love and kind of prepare them different, usually a lot of salad. So, okay, so we got these things sauteing up, we threw our meat in and you know we had water boiling we got to boil water and make sure you can do this first to make sure your pasta is ready it took like nine minutes all together this took less than 15 minutes so we've got our pasta um ready to throw in with our done little meat mixture here and um i am going to also when i throw my pasta in i'm going to do like three tablespoons of balsamic vinegar and then when i get that all stirred up and looking good i threw in like three handfuls of spinach. And so let's just take a minute and talk about spinach today, okay, and why spinach is so incredibly good. Spinach is high in calcium, magnesium, and iron, vitamins A, B, C, niacin, and folate. Spinach contains CoQ10, which has been found, uh, the compounds of that help for muscle building, but also heart health. In fact, you've probably seen the commercials on TV with, you know, things in them with CoQ10. So that in itself is like really good. But um, it, there's also compounds in there that help with vision. And I didn't know this about uh, spinach, but it also helps with stomach ulcers and because um, it includes compounds that guard the stomach membrane against damage. Glycoglycerolipid chemicals help toughen the lining of the stomach and the digestive tract, which uh, reduces inflammation. Who knew? I mean, we all know spinach is good for us, right? Because it's really high in iron also, which can help uh, aid against anemia. And it's very high in an antioxidants and the list goes on. Um, so I try to incorporate spinach as much as I can. I like to use it instead of like a lettuce. Um, but yeah, so that's that. So we threw in some spinach right at the end and just put a lid on it so that the, the spinach can get in there and just, you know, kind of wilt up and uh, get cooked too. So that's what we had. We sauteed up this, these goodies right here uh, while our noodles were cooking. And then we threw in our lean, lean meat. And then when those things were just about done, we tossed in our cooked pasta and topped that off with like three tablespoons of a balsamic vinegar. And this is what we come up with. And so also to get a little more spinach, I lined my bowl with some spinach. I'm gonna put my hot food on top of there and let it wilt up so that I get a double dose. So we're just going to come over here and we're going to show you what we got here. So we got a nice sauceless spaghetti. 
high in protein, got some good veggies in there. Oh, this is gonna be such a yummy lunch. And then for like a topper, you can keep it completely fat free. You can use, uh, take the meat out, of course, and put in your whatever you want, whatever, um, you know, tofu or, you know, you could use prawns, you could use um, Brussels sprouts, which I love to use as an alternative, or you can do like um, radishes or, you know, whatever protein that, um, that you use instead of a meat. And then we're just, I'm personally gonna top mine with some Parmesan cheese, but um, feta would also be good. And there you have it. That took me probably realistically 15, 16 minutes. And I just have a nice carb protein lunch that is very low fat and it's going to be yummy. So there you have it. We got a little sauceless spaghetti today. And, and just for a thought today, you know, I was thinking earlier while I was at the gym how, how special special human beings are when they interact and they exchange energy and you know sometimes it just takes a smile and if you can smile at somebody and make them smile back at you that is such a good feeling because how many times have you been walking through your day and somebody just out of the blue just smiles at you just to smile it kind of makes you feel a little good inside so you know it's a beautiful day make sure to connect with somebody today on a, on a real personal level and Exchange a little energy because, you know, it does everybody good. Us human beings, we need interaction. And so that's my thought for the day. I hope you're all having a wonderful day because it really is a, it's just a beautiful time of year right now. And so make something healthy for yourself. Connect with your loved ones and have a beautiful day. And thank you so much for tuning in. Have a good day. Going to do my funky little exit.